guys. I mean, these simple men let us leave these ruins and hopefully not get into a random battle. I've already had a field take of this. Oh, Lord, because of course it has to, you know, skip frames because it's stupid. Alright, so let's look. <laughs> country you were in. Yeah, well, you know, things happen, and couldn't you just tell me? Please, please? It's the Queendom of Galena. What? Is that place still around? Oh, great. Now it looks like I missed another big meal. What do I do now? Oh, Prince, this lady is off a rocker. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, I made up my mind. I'm Vicky. It must be fate us running into each other like this. Would you mind watching over me? Uh, yeah, I guess we could do that. I mean, you seem to not know where you are, and obviously she is from every previous Swicoden game. Uh, she's a time-traveling mage, basically. And she's in every game. Really? Yippee! And she's a dit and a klutz. Oh my god. In that case, as a token of our new partnership, I'll take you wherever you want to go really quick, too. Oh, okay. See? Don't say I didn't warn you. She's starting to talk all weird. Uh, sure. Whatever you say there, Toma. Okay, just think of where you want to go. Everyone ready? Get set? Off we go. Okay, I'm not ready for- Oh ah, no! I'm oh god! Mr. Spock, beat me up, Scotty! Oh my god, Mr. Spock is Scotty! Who knew this? Oh my. What? Huh? What just happened? We're in Rafley, but how do we get here so quickly? Good lord. This is scary! Indeed, that was a bit of a rush. Did you use some kind of rune, young, young lady? Uh, yeah, and it's a special rune. So is this where you wanted to go? Oh, God. Uh, sure? It is. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried I was a little rusty there. But it looks like all your body po- Oh, don't- Ah, hey! Oh, man. That crazy lady's gone. Or, uh, one of them's gone anyway. Uh, yeah, where- where is one of them? Hey! You're right. Indeed. Huh? What? Oops! Did I do it again? Oops! I did it again! <laughs> oh, God. Ah, Lorelai. Don't worry, she hasn't been with us since we left the ruins. Oh, uh, what? 
Wait a minute, Lorelai's gone? She probably wanted to examine the room some more on her own. I don't know why she's so interested in the Sindar race. Uh, okay. Not that I'll miss her too much. Oh, come on there, Toma. You gotta, you gotta crush her, buddy. Come on, man. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried her head and her body got separated. What? Oh, shit. Or did it? Or did her head get turned on backwards and she can see her own ass? <laughs> like in Spaceballs! Excuse me, I'm very interested in your rune, young lady. But I suppose there are other things to take care of first. Yeah, you're interested in your rune, wink wink. Oh god, I have to talk to Lucretia. Take me to her. Uh, god, so pushy, Swipe. But I've befriended Vicky. Which is always a good thing. Vicky is a very important and very powerful mage. Uh, she is probably one of the ten best magic u er, well, one of the top five magic users in the game. And pretty soon we'll get the number one magic user in the game. Okay there, Gavaya, get the hell out of here, man. Alright, we want to go to the Dahak. And, uh, you know, do our stuff there. Do some stuff there, man. We want to do some stuff there. Yes. Alright, so we need to go to the Dahak. And we need to go and, uh, you know, do our typical stuff. Hell yeah. Alright. We need to go up these stairs right here. Alright, and, uh, we want to go, uh, this way. And we want to go upstairs. And, good lord, it's just one thing after another. Jesus. All right, so. Ah, welcome back, your highness. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite welcome. Uh, greetings, Lucretia. Uh, greetings, okay. And greetings to you, Zwei. How did it go? Oh man, my hypothesis has been proven almost entirely correct. Oh, Cirrus Lake is a man-made lake created by damming up the river. And those ruins themselves are a giant sluice gate. A what? A, a giant what? Really? You mean the ancients used it to control water flow? Indeed. Precisely so. Precisely so. Why? Are the ruins still in working order? Yes. Well, I didn't actually try using them, but I foresee no difficulties. Oh man. I see. Prince, I apologize for being so evasive up until now. But now that everything is in order, let me explain my plan for destroying Hatred Fortress. Oh, hello, plan! I like a plan. I like a good plan for destroying shit. The plan isn't actually very complicated. We simply open the sluice gate in those ruins. That's it. Really? You... You led me on this for the last seven parts, and that's our, our plan? If we released water in Ceres Lake into the faintest river, all at once, the ensuing force will be like a tsunami. The torrent of water will crash directly into Hatred Fortress. No matter how well the de uh, beavers built it, the fortress won't stand the chance. Oh man, brilliant! Indeed it is, there Maroon. Hey, wait just one second. Really? Are you going to put a dampen on my parade right now? I don't like when people dampen my parades. Lord Link's going to be in the path of that tsunami too. Uh, good point. Indeed. Indeedly dooly. Oh god, not that again. You're going to wipe out our town along with the Hatred Fortress. Uh, well, you, you beggars can't be choosers. We're going to save Lord Link by destroying it. What can I say? No, I asked Maroon and the others to take care of that. Uh, okay, how's that? I'm having them construct a barrier so that the wreckage of the fortress doesn't get swept down the Lord Lake. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, well, that's... Oh, man. But you're sure it's gonna hold? It's not gonna break! Lord Lake will be alright! St stop with 20 questions! What is this? Now, now, calm down. We're talking about the beavers, after all. If they can't build it, no one can. Oh, man. So, Prince, what do you think of the plan? Um... Uh, 
I think it's a magnificent idea, it's pure genius. Wait a minute, your highness, think about this for a minute. Oh no, no! What are you trying to do, give me a Rubik's Cube? I don't want Rubik's Cubes! That's right, Prince! Seriously, why do you always take her side? Why don't you take my side? You're the one that dressed me like this, you... The soldiers in Hatred Fortress are felonies. Just like us, they don't deserve to die like that. They were just... They're protect... Ah, whatever. Yes, you're right, of course. I've heard a lot of soldiers who were just recently conscripted are assigned to ha Hatred Fortress. If we wipe them all out like that... Oh, man. We'd no longer be able to say we were fighting to stop the Godwin's tyranny, would we? Oh... You're dampening my parade, goddammit! Wait, are you saying that killing in war is acceptable, but drowning isn't? You baffle me, Lucretia, as usual. Uh, I agree with Zweig here. No, neither one of them is ever okay. But if our hand is forced, the fewer casualties, the better, right? Indeed. Prince, I've already come up with a plan to lure these, the soldiers out of the fortress, so don't worry. Ah, I should've known you'd have a plan. To get the soldiers out of the way, we'll attack the fortress. Just give the word, Prince, and we can get started right away. Alright. And I need a little time to get ready. Alright, when you're ready, just let me know. Alright. So next episode there, guys, we are going to come back here and talk to Lucretia and get ready for the big battle. But off screen, I am going to train up at the Battle Academy and the Magic Academy here and, uh, you know, get a few things done off screen. Alright, so I will see you guys then. Peace out.